Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video. Today on the channel we have David Roden, also known as Fit underscore D Rock. This is actually a video that he did in response to me. I did not react to him, I react to someone by the name of Brad Polumbo. And you can check that out exclusively on Patreon if you are not subscribed there already. See, I made a claim in the video that under eating food, calories can actually stall weight loss, and in many ways can actually keep you from oxidizing stored fat on your body which is absolutely the case. It has to do with hormones like cortisol being upregulated in a starvation event, or at least a restricted event, not necessarily starving, of course. So we're gonna see what he had to say in response to this, because the caption of the video is, under eating causes cortisol to keep you fat? Wrong, with a salute emoji. So let's get directly into this. But first, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, please subscribe to that. There is a $2 month tier, a $5 month tier, and an $8 month tier in order to gain access to one week early uploads, ad-free content, uncensored content, and one extra video per week, and also buy my book Contraindicated if you have not already as well. Links to both of those down in the description. With that being said, let's now jump directly into this video. Many people perpetuate their obesity and hit a stagnation period. Okay, so already, before we even get started here, so my video is playing. This is what this individual does with every single video he uploads. What he will do is he will post a video, and within that video, there will be a very captivating, sensationally edited before and after transformation photo or series of photos on the screen of him when he was obese to him being lean and fit with muscle. Now, to be extremely fair, that is an extremely impressive feat. I don't know the age difference between those photos. It doesn't really matter to me too much, though. This is very impressive. However, this is implying tacitly, and in many ways it's not very tacit, it's very ostentatious, that since he lost weight and gained muscle, he therefore knows what he's talking about. In order to lose weight, whatever that weight may be composed of, because it can be composed of many different things, you can vastly restrict your food intake and then optimize your diet afterwards and lift heavy and just eat enough animal protein and you can gain muscle and lose fat. Gaining muscle itself will actually raise your basal metabolic rate and force you to tap into your fat stores as well. So it's actually not conferring of veracity and credibility upon someone to simply lose fat and gain muscle. There's the first fallacy right there before he even starts talking. But anyway, let's just rewind and just start right back there. Just keep that in mind though whenever people do that because he's not the only one that does that. Many people perpetuate their obesity and hit a stagnation period if they do not eat, because this upregulates cortisol, which is a hormone that is designed to strip muscle mass off of you and store as much fat as possible. Or cortisol is really designed to primarily, if we're going to be extremely technical, increase blood glucose levels via gluconeogenesis. Cortisol, therefore, can upregulate fat storage. It's highly associated with it if it's chronically elevated, because glucose can be transmuted directly into fatty acids, then to constitute triglycerides or form new ones, thus to be stored, because triglycerides are necessary necessarily stored within the body into adipocytes. Okay. Well, the body effectuate the body to store as much fat as possible. That's how human physiology works. No. Yes, that is how it works. You were featured in Men's Magazine, and your daddy is a cardiologist, which you incessantly cite on your page as if that confers veracity upon you, sir, which it doesn't. You don't know how metabolism works. All you know how to do is drink a Diet Coke in front of the camera and haughtily react to people in an arrogant fashion, because arrogance means exhibiting a higher level of confidence with respect to competence you don't have and you don't possess. That's what makes someone arrogant, and that's exactly what you're exhibiting here. That's a problem. That's what you know how to do. Drinking Diet Soda in an extreme ostentatious, arrogant way, and it's extremely insolent the way that you behave in that fashion to people that absolutely know what they're talking about. So anyway, what do you have to say? Considerably overweight are not struggling with losing weight because they're under eating and yes in many cases That is the case because what they do is they vastly restrict their mass of food intake without taking into consideration The macronutrient makeup and the quality of the food that they're actually eating which will infect not only their inflammasome status But also their propensity to store more of what they're eating as fat and also in many cases Disallows the body from tapping into stored fat. It absolutely does such a thing. There is a doctor with in this space who on Instagram and social media is known as Dr. Fit and Fabulous who has said that we are overfed and undernourished in society. This is what she's referring to. Extremely low muscle mass and higher adiposity makes it difficult to lose fat even when restricting the mass of food that one consumes. Restricting the mass of food that one consumes can actually make the situation worse. You malnourish the person even more and on top of that, that subsequently leads to a higher difficulty of losing fat and losing weight, especially if the weight that their body is made up of is primarily fat, okay? It is all about hormones, and it is all about the quality of the food that you eat, okay? This is all. There's so many ways to go about this. This is one of the more 
objective looks at it. We got Ansel Keys back in World War II. We took a bunch of people in the military, put them through. Who's we? You didn't f do that, did you? Ansel Keys did it. An absolute misanthrope, by the way. And that just evinces your incompetence and your ineptitude to objectively assess whether something is veracious or not. And whether someone is, by the way, David. Ridiculous. Ansel Keys was a fraud. He is the inventor and the pioneer of the saturated fat cholesterol myth in the 1950s. A fish biologist and physiologist, by the way. Not a human one. And was still studying when he was selected to determine the cause of heart disease by the Eisenhower administration. Ridiculous. Okay? a starvation protocol where they ate around 15, 1600 calories a day. Well, they didn't need any of those calories first and foremost. However, this was also a starving protocol. Now, 1500 to 1600 calories, that's not really starving, by the way, but they were trying to starve these people. What was the actual constituent primarily of the diet? What were the constituents of the diet, macronutrient wise and also micronutrient wise? What were they eating? That's more important. The human body cannot absorb calories. It cannot consume them. That's not possible. Whether you like that and whether I like that or not. That's not how it works. We are a chemical machine. Photons of light, which is what they are whenever they're manifested in the real world, have a rest mass of zero. They cannot be consumed. Okay, David? Of primarily carbs. Car well, there you go, David. So you put people on a 1500 to 1600 calorie diet. So you restricted the mass of food they took in, but you restricted their protein and fat. So no wonder they lost weight, David. This isn't about losing weight, per se. You have to look at the context as well. If you go back to my video, I didn't say it was invariably the case that people that restricted their mass of food intake would struggle with losing fat and losing weight. I said that in many cases, it can happen. You see, many people perpetuate their obesity and hit a stagnation period if they do not eat. Many people, many people, many people. You have to look at the context of the situation. Was the person obese or overweight beforehand? Are they mostly fat right now? Because in in that case, many different processes can interfere with the ability to lose fat even with a mass restriction, massive food restriction. I am not one of those people, for example. So if I restricted my massive food intake markedly, I probably would lose weight. By the way, losing weight, once again, as I say on this channel incessantly, is not the criterion of health. If you're losing muscle and bone density, like these people were in this little experiment, David, that's not indicated for human physiology. Now, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. You didn't say it was indicated for human physiology. You haven't said that yet, at least, but I'm just making that a point because this whole calorie model completely neglects to mention the quality of the food that people are consuming and the hormonal effects and impacts of those foods on the human body. For example, effects on insulin, a fat storing hormone that interferes with fat loss because it interferes with the mobilization of triglycerides and the breakdown of them for use. Okay. Of primarily carbs, carnivores, sorry. So f what, David? That doesn't mean they're indicated. See, once again, your insinuation here, your implication is that since they lost weight by eating carbohydrates, that somehow carbohydrates are therefore not bad. It's either that's your implication or your implication is based upon a straw man argument, that being that for some reason you think that carnivores say, which some of them may be saying this, but I'm not because it's not true, that if you eat carbs, you cannot lose fat or lose weight. That's not true. You absolutely can, especially if you cut out all of your fat and protein, David. It really is not that difficult to understand. And over the next few weeks, they dropped 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus pounds to the... Who cares? How does that refute what I said in the video? I didn't say that it was invariably the case that people with elevated cortisol would not be able to lose fat, that elevated cortisol being a result of a loss of adequate mass intake from food. I didn't say that was invariably the case. I said it can happen. <laughs> Because you need to understand, rewind my video, David, and you'll hear me say that cortisol is responsible for upregulating gluconeogenesis within the body. Now, that can happen to a higher degree when one is not consuming sufficient food in order to provide enough glucose for the bloodstream, and that can interfere with the tapping in of one's fat stores. David, do you understand what I'm saying? It is not invariably the case, but it can happen with someone that is overweight or obese. Were these people in this experiment overweight or obese? And even then, they can also lose fat and lose weight. It does not mean that the method in which this was done or the method in which it can be done, the methods in which it can be done, are salubrious and indicated for human physiology. Because this is f not. This can destroy people's metabolism. And in fact, it has. R.E. Biggest Loser to the point where they were literally starving to death. Hold on a minute, David. 1,500 to 1,600 calories, quote unquote, that's what was causing these people to starve to death? They weren't eating protein. It was primarily carbohydrates that they were consuming. Do you realize what you're missing here? They weren't eating protein and they were eating fat. 1,500 to 1,600 calories is not what was starving them. They're starving them of protein and fat, but anyway. At nowhere point in time, did uh, under eating make them gain weight or stop losing weight? Well, I didn't say gain weight, by the way. <laughs> 
but okay, stop losing weight. Again, I didn't say invariably. David. And also carnivores, they were eating primarily only carbs. Yes, that is exactly what you would expect from people that cut out two entire macronutrients. In fact, the ones that were designed to eat as a species. No carnivores are saying that if you eat carbohydrates, you will necessarily, invariably, gain fat or at least not be able to lose fat. Nobody is saying that. And if they are, they need to stop saying it because it's not true. That's ridiculous. And lost a considerable amount of weight. Who gives a f are carbohydrates indicated for human physiology? Exogenous ones? No. End of. Not advocating for this at all. You're not eating adequate protein. You're building too- Well, there you go. Give a deficit, which- Well, there you go. A mass deficit. A deficit of food, protein, and fat. Yes. To all types of issues, obviously just looking at pictures of them, they lost a ridiculous amount of muscle mass. They had huge emotional issues because they were literally starving to death. Eventually, it would have gotten to that point, yes. Because they're not eating sufficient essential amino acids and essential fatty acids. David, notice how there's no essential carbohydrate? Not smart at all. Just no. like you. An advocate to building a mild calorie deficit, prioritize. It's not possible. Protein, eat foods you enjoy, eat carbs, it's fine. No, don't eat carbs. They're not fine. Because fine in this situation means innocuous or benign. In fact, you've said in other videos and implied at least that they're salubrious and they're not. Okay, they're contraindicated in the extreme exogenous carbohydrates. Even a gram is contraindicated. It might not be deleterious at a gram. It's not going to be. But it's contraindicated. It is not indicated to consume them. But this idea that people are considerably overweight because they're under eating and they stop. I, hold on a minute, David. I didn't say that they were overweight because they were under eating. I didn't say that, did I? You put words in my mouth. I said, what can interfere with fat loss is upregulated cortisol as a result of not eating sufficient food, especially in the indicated forms and macronutrient profile slash makeup. That's what I said, okay? People are considerably overweight in society because of a hormonal dysregulation, that being with respect to insulin, spiking and dipping, troughing multiple times a day from the consumption of carbohydrates exogenously. You combine that with the seed oils that we consume, which just causes an immense amount of inflammation through multiple different mechanisms, three in particular, which therefore lowers redox potential of mitochondria, just all of the sequelae that results from that, which down the line results in fat accumulation and inflammation once again. And you combine that with other fats that people are consuming, even if they're indicated fats for human physiology. So you've got a Randall cycle situation, you've got a threefold formula for effectuating fat gain. Okay? That's why people are overweight. It has nothing to do with calories because you can't f consume those anyway. Losing weight because of cortisol is bullshit. No, everything that you espouse on your f profile, David, is bullshit. Okay, just because daddy's a cardiologist doesn't mean you know what the f you're talking about. It also doesn't mean that your dad knows what the f he's talking about either, because most cardiologists don't know what the f they're talking about. I just reacted to one recently. So, with that being said, put your f***ing junk away, because you're not proving anything to anyone, except your arrogance and your hubris, and go somewhere else and chug your Diet Cokes. Stop espousing bullshit just because you were featured in men's magazine because you have muscle on your body. That does not mean you know what the f*** you're talking about. Anyway. This is David Roden, everyone. Someone that, once again, is an absolute ignoramus, but an arrogant one at that, and a narcissist in the extreme. I've watched his videos before. It's just a shame that he was wrong on this and used a bunch of straw man arguments. So, that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, if you're wondering what the link is at the bottom of the screen, that is a link to a site that sells very amazing products, those being the scroll products. If you'd like to learn about those products, I would refer to the video in the top right corner of the screen that being the Cerule products video that I made, a complete explanation, a complete elucidation of the products, who should take it, why you should take it, when to take them, what they even are and what they do, etc, etc. And I'd also suggest referring to the description below to check out a video between myself and Professor Bart K about the products in further detail, as well as the company of Cerule itself. If you refer to the link on the bottom of the screen, you'll get a 10% discount when signing up for monthly deliveries, which is a permanent discount, as well as free shipping off your first order when signing up for monthly deliveries as well. Also, email me at edgoki14 at gmail.com if you have any questions or would like to figure out how to earn those products for free because who in the right mind wouldn't want that and with that being said join me next time when we react to someone else who is an arrogant f head online like vit underscore d rock so till then